Hi everybody and welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and my cameraman is Houston. And today we have some really sweet crafts made out of sheet music that I think you'll love. So come play with us. So I wanted to show you how our sheet music comes when you purchase it. This is authentic vintage sheet music. I don't know where our buyer found this huge variety of this wonderful sheet music. It's authentic. This is the real ephemera looking stuff. Um, when you order the sheet music from Paper Wishes, you will either get this large size that um, comes with at least four sheets of music that is printed front and back, but you also get some pieces as you can see, they're torn. They're kind of falling apart a little bit. Some of them have art on them. And you'll either get the large format with at least four sheets, or you might get the smaller format, as I show you here, and you will get more sheets than that. So we try to really give you a large variety of the small sheets, so you're really getting your money's worth. So let's show you what you're going to get in our bundle this week. Not only do you get one of the two sizes of sheet music, but you will also be getting some templates. This is the 3D flowers template, easy pleated snowflakes template, and the little birdies template, and also a cutting die. This is the just a note cutting die. So let's get right to it and I'll show you some of the cute projects we have using all of these materials. And I'll give you a better look at this cutting die as well since it's upside down and backwards. So the first project, oops, it's caught on something, is this adorable snowflake, which I thought was fun to have going into January. And as you can see, it's 3D, front and back here, and um, it's got an adorable little uh, circle gem um, on the center of it and some inking. And I'll show you how this one was done. Let me grab my template back again that I didn't think I would need. So I have my template and I have a scrap of my sheet music here. And all I do is trace this. This particular sheet music doesn't have anything on the back. You just trace the image on the back. And when you cut it out, see, and it gives you full directions on the template. You trace it one way and then you turn it over and you align the image and then you trace it the other way. So you're getting this image that has the pattern on the top and the bottom, okay? So then once you've got that, I just took little strips of extra sticky tape, which is double-sided tape. I'm gonna peel that off. Ugh. The back is very clingy. And I peel that off and then, whoop. Okay, so you're accordion folding that according to the template instructions. And then you're going to fold it in half like that. Isn't that cool? We've already got it like that. And then you've got the other tape which is sticking to my fingers. I probably should have taken off one strip at a time. And then you fold this side in half. Okay, there you go. And then I always put a little dot of glue, just tacky craft glue right in the center. And there you have your snowflake. And then you can put one of the little gems or a dazzle sticker or a rhinestone on the center of it. Okay, easy as could be. Um, also, just a little inking. This is just a little blue ink that I probably should have done before I uh, accordion folded it around the edge. Okay, very simple. Can you just imagine a Christmas tree covered in these snowflakes or even just a, a branch that you bring from outside and put it in a vase and just cover it with these beautiful snowflakes for January and February in your home? That would just be really charming. Okay, so the next craft is from our little birdie template. I'll grab this. Okay, and this one, the little bird shape couldn't be any easier. And then the wing shape right here, you're just taking that and, let me see if I can pull this one out of here. Here we go. You're just tracing it onto the music, doing some accordion folding. Make a little slit with your X-Acto knife and you're just gonna thread it right through where the little bird is and, well, you saw it before, it was threaded through there. <laughs> so moving on to the next one. Oh, look at this little daisy flower. 
This uses the 3D flowers template, and I have two projects to show you. This one I did last night, it was very simple. I just used the little daisy and cut out two of them, inked the edges black, and then I just used a little button that I had. This is some 24 gauge wire you can get at any craft store. I think I got this at our local Dollar Tree. And um, I just layered them, poked the um, wire up through the bottom, down through the center, um, after having threaded, of course, the button. And how cute with a little bouquet of these sitting on your windowsill. I thought that was really charming as well. And then the next project using uh, this particular template, I use this swirly rose, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. I just put this on a frame, a little cluster of them, um, along with the pattern for uh, the leaves that came from the template, and I used hammered gold paper, and did some really easy flowers, and this is a picture of my parents. So I'll show you how this is done. So once you have traced this image onto the back of your music, then I cut this out. Actually, I didn't cut this one out. I tore this one out. It was really easy to go around and tear the image. And then I inked the edges. If you can see how that looks, I inked the edges with a little bit of burgundy or red ink. And then I'm just gonna take a bamboo skewer, but you could also use a small paintbrush handle. And I just put it along the end here. And I just started rolling. Okay, and we're going to roll and roll and roll and roll. And it's okay if the roll is a little bit loose. That's not important because once it's the bamboo skewer is just to give this a nice curve like you see here. And then it's going to loosen up and kind of spring back the minute I take it off the skewer. So don't worry about it being a sloppy roll. We're really just concerned with getting it, the paper bent in the right direction. So we're almost done here. And then when I get to the end of this, you're gonna notice there's sort of a little circular dot at the end of the paper. And that is this area right here. And that's where we're gonna place a dot of either hot glue or um, I'm just going to use a zot here on camera, a self-adhesive or zot adhesive dot. Okay, so here I've got it. I've got my base right there. Grab one of my zots. Whoop! If you guys ever tried to remove a zot with one hand, you know how that feels. Okay, so I'm going to put that right at the bottom. Okay. And the reason I suggest using a Zot or um, hot glue is because tacky craft glue would just take too long and it could kind of come unrolled. Un un All right, so I'm going to let that kind of loosen up a little bit. And you just kind of pull it apart. And there you've got your cute little flower. I should have not rolled that quite as tight. Here we go. See? So this one has a torn edge, and then some of the other ones on here just have a straight edge. So you could do either, whichever one you'd like. All right, so um, here's some cards. I wanted to show you these as well. Move these out of the way. All right, now here is a card using the music paper and the just a, just a note cutting die that you're getting in your bundle. So that is really fun, and how easy and quick to make this card. It's just got some black cardstock, tear some of the paper, and then die cut out of black cardstock. Here's another one using um, our uh, cake cutting die and also our happy die cut. That's from the script die cuts. Also really fun and easy. And then this one is from the Wildflowers stamp, which I love. This is done with a watercolor uh, pencils on, on watercolor pa paper. Very simple to do. There's another example. Here we go. And this one as well. 
So uh, thank you for joining me today. Make sure you take a look at our gallery um, where we'll have the photos of these, all of these projects there. And uh, don't forget to check out our bundle. You can buy all of these products individually from Paper Wishes, but I really recommend you get the bundle. It's a great deal. So thanks for stopping by and happy crafting. Bye-bye.